boys and girls. Today, we get to do one that is super fun and super challenging. Usually those two go come together. Um, we're doing reverse star. And I find um, that I always love to start teaching with a possible fall. So this is something you want to look out for before you try this. And if you're willing to try this, and, and if when you see that the possible fall is coming over backwards this way, if it's beyond what you're comfortable with falling out, uh, we're going to break it down to where it can be easier in the beginning by starting on lower positions. Let's jump right into it. Okay, watch out for this possible fall. Magda is this brave one. She's gonna help my fly here. Magda's gonna jump over and show you a, one, a bad fall on some purpose. Bring those hips over, man. My hands are up. One, two, go for it, Magda. My hands are up. My hands are this way. Watch, if she goes over and lands flat on her back, that's a bad fall. So bases, keep your hands up. Very important. Now let's break down exactly what the base and the flyer are doing to create this uh, reverse star. Um, let's see, should I do the base cam yet? Let's go ahead and do what the flyer is doing first, then we'll do the base cam second. Watch Magda here. She's gonna walk up to me, come up close enough to where my feet, oh, I'm sorry, her feet can touch my hands. I've gotta make sure there's plenty of space behind me that so there's not a coffee table or something hard behind me that she could fall right into. So be uh, very cognizant of the space behind you. Make sure there's plenty of space of safety that she can land on. The first thing she does, again, she walks up to where I can touch her feet. She dips her shoulders in. And watch what she grabs. She grabs my calf. And as she jumps into me, she has to push down into it. A common mistake flyers do is as they jump in, they'll want to pull on the calf but by pulling, that doesn't give you any support to lift your body up to bring your hips over. So uh, Magda's gonna push down on my calves and that helps her to bring her hips over, okay? Um, I like to um, time the jump with her. So I like going one, two, and then on three, she jumps. Now, she, flyers will underestimate how much they have to jump. Is that true, Magda? When you first jump, you find that it's really hard to get your hips yeah. over. It's such yeah. a high jump, especially, it's like basically trying to jump onto a high table this high and to get your hips over. So, because that's so challenging, um, I recommend that flyers start trying to do this on the ground first. By the ground, I mean um, getting into a headstand from the ground position. Can you do this first before you try it on, on a base? Can you get into a headstand and jump right into it? Into a straddle like that. If you can comfortably do that on the ground, then try that on a base. But I wouldn't do that before because if you're not comfortable falling out of that, why would you do that on someone that, on a platform that's four feet off the ground? So if you start feeling comfortable doing that on the ground, going to a headstand, then try it on a belly base. So the next step up, I would say, is have the flyer jump into a reverse star from a belly base position. So this is what I'll do. I'm going to do a belly base position, make sure there's a lot of mats behind me this time because she's jumping over this way. And this will help train you, um, your feet to curl around her shoulders, which are important. I'll show, you that, show that to you in a second. And um, it will give the flyer a chance to feel what it's like to get inverted on a base's feet. So she's going to do the exact same. She's going to bring her shoulders into my uh, feet. I'm going to curl my toes around her shoulders there because that helps me leverage her back and forth. She's going to grab my calves and push down and come up into a straddle pike. Nice, Magda. And I have to bring my legs back to find that 90 degrees. Basically where my, my uh, shin bone is 90 degrees. And then she'll come out. And this when you're at this height you can practice twisting out which is such an important skill to twist out from that position versus just falling flat back on your back okay um, so get really comfortable learning how to fall out and twist out of that position before you try going on an L base which is much higher so now I'm gonna break down the feet position for the base we'll bring on the base cam here again Magda's gonna walk up to me to where I can touch her feet. So she walks up, 
to where my hands can touch your feet. So she's about right here. I can touch your feet here. Watch how she dips her shoulders down. A common mistake is flyers will like just dip and look look ahead this way, and they, they want to mount this way. You have to really dip your head down, and not only look down at the ground, but look back, because the further the flyer looks backwards, it's easier for her to bring her hips over. So Magnus, watch her hands. She's going to grab my calves right around here. Some, a common mistake I see is they'll grab too high. Grab a little lower right there, so you can draw a nice 90 degree angle with your bicep and your forearm there. She's going to push down very hard as she jumps into me. And her job is to bring her hips over. Again, try that on the ground first or in a belly base to see if you are comfortable jumping up because it is a very hard jump. It's a very high jump. Watch as the base, my feet, my toes are curled around her shoulders here, not too far this way. Because as she comes over, I can use my toes to leverage her back if she tends to fall over. My hands are straight up. And as she jumps over, you'll notice that my legs are squatting super low until her hips come over, do I push up. If I push up before her hips are over, she'll just likely fall back down on the ground, which is a common mistake. So Magda's gonna come. It's a very hard jump, so we may need a couple of times, but I have a firm belief in Magda she can do it the first time. So I like going one, two, watch how I keep my legs low, three. And then I kick up. I, I wait till her hips are over her shoulders and then I kick up. I watch my toes, they're curled around her back. So in case she falls over this way, watch what she did there. It's a very, very smart move. If you, you as the flyer tend, if you start falling over too fast this way, and watch again, my hands are up the whole time to make sure that she doesn't fall over. She switched her hands from my calf over to my shins and that helps her to give that leverage to prevent her from falling over. So that's another smart tool to use to prevent you from falling over. And my hands are up in case she falls over. To come down, I simply lower my legs and she's gonna drop her legs back on the I ground or twist out. I really prefer that she learns to twist out from the height because a lot of times bases will be so locked in into this L position that they forget when they're falling to bend their knees and they'll just like timber out this way. So as the flyer, it's imperative that you learn how to twist out before you try reverse start. So again, guys, if you find that you can jump into the headstand from the ground first, cool. Go up to the belly base, cool. You got that? From the belly base to the L basing position, I find is a big leap. So before you do that, try putting some pillow cushions or like some couch cushions right where the flyer is about to jump off first and stack them up high so that this distance to jump onto the feet isn't such a drastic change. And the more you can do that jump, take a cushion away until you go flat right on the ground jumping from the ground position. Let me know if this has been helpful guys. Reverse start is one of the more challenging ones to get into as a beginner. Uh, so again I find this is a definitely an intermediate position. Try the belly base as a beginner and get into a headstand on the ground before you try any of this. And basis, keep your hands up to keep your flyer safe. So until then guys, be courageous and play safe.